crafty friends it's courtney brickner the cb behind the crafty brick welcome to my youtube channel i if you've seen you know that i got a new Recoma em 1010 machine i have been having so much fun with it and i really want um a new sweatshirt to wear this weekend to move my daughter's volleyball tournament so i was looking on creative fabrica and i don't know if you knew but they've got a lot of embroidery files on there with the DST format that you can use with this machine. So I downloaded a file, I uploaded it to my zip or my USB drive here that goes into the machine and I printed out my run sheets. So this is what my, my design is gonna look like. And I've got the guidelines of how it's going to cut. Um, you're gonna have to have that with every design that you make, you've gotta have the run sheet. So I just wanted to walk you through how I'm gonna set it up and start to embroider this design. So let's start by putting the USB into the machine and we're gonna walk through, here are the 10 steps right here that Rokoma recommends when you are starting a project to make sure that you're doing everything just the right way and that you have the most success. So I always look at this because I'm still a beginner. So I just put it up right beside my machine so that I have it handy. And we're gonna go through the 10 steps and hopefully we're going to have a flawless experience today. We'll see, but come with me. Let's start by putting the design into my machine. All right, first thing we're gonna do is turn on the machine. There's a little button in the very back and then we take our USB drive and there's just a little slot right here for the USB right on the side. So I'll go ahead and put that in. All right, the first thing we're going to do is upload our design from our USB to our machine. What we're gonna do is click the file button here and we're gonna click our drive. So that is all the files that are on our USB drive right here. So we're going to find the one that we want to import. We click that, and then we click this little machine with the arrow. So that means that it's getting ready to go from the USB to our machine. And then it loads. Then we click Escape. Now we're gonna click the file again. This button shows us the files that are on our machine now. So let's click that. And here is our file that we just imported. We'll click that and click OK. Oh, I forgot to remove the embroidery status. So I need to, what I need to do is follow my, my 10 steps. I told you we were going to do that. So first we need to unlock the machine. So let's click our unlock button. Remove embroidery status. Yes. So now the embroidery status right here is set to prepare. Now we're going to click our design. I forgot because I was just importing it that I didn't go back to the step. So now it's imported. Let's, let's see, on our machine right here, we're gonna click the design that we just imported. There it is, click OK. And there's our design. It's a little too big. Now we need to make sure we choose the hoop size. So I'm choosing the hoop size. So let's go to our design set. We're going to click right here. And let's see which hoop size we're going to be using. I'm gonna use my eight by 13 size. My design's only six, but I really wanna use my Mighty Hoop. <laughs> so let's do that. All right, so since that is much too big, we're gonna click our hat and we're going to click the 310 by 210, the D hoop size and click okay. And you'll see that your flat lay moves into place and then your design changes so that it actually fits on there. We'll click OK. Next up, we're going to design our colors. Escape. We're going to pick our colors and we're going to look at our run sheet. So the first color here is dark blue. So whatever color we want that one to be is what we choose for our number one color. So I know it looks a little confusing and it looks like I should be choosing number 10 for purple, but it really matters what 
thread you've got on the top of your machine. So this is actually number one. So it goes one, two, three, four, five. And then over here, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So whatever you have threaded in your machine, those are the numbers that correspond with these numbers here. So 10 looks like purple, but 10 is not. 10 is actually orange, so I don't want orange. So since I want purple, I'm going to choose one, okay? And then for the pink, I'm not gonna choose that five that's right there on the screen. I'm going to choose seven because that's where it is on my machine. And then for the last one, I'm gonna be doing white. White is actually number three on my machine. So it's very important that you have your thread matched up with the numbers. You're not really using the numbers that correspond with what's on your machine necessarily. It really is what corresponds with what thread you have threaded in your machine. So our number one color, I'm going to choose purple. So that's one. Our number two color is for there yellow, but I'm going to choose pink. So that's number seven. And then the number three color, they've got black, but I want to do white. So then we'll click three. And we'll click okay. Speed, we'll keep it at 750 right here. You can change the speed if you want and go up down to 800 or 750. We'll just keep it at 750. Then we're gonna insert our hoop. First, we need to put our backing on, our stabilizer, and hoop our materials. Let's do that. All right, first we need some stabilizer. So I just keep mine on the wall here on a paper towel roll. I feel like that is really convenient. So I'm gonna pull it off. We'll just get, I think that seems like a good amount. Hopefully it's a good amount. <laughs> I don't know if it's enough, we're gonna see. Okay, now we're gonna take my hoop, remove the back from here, and we're gonna place that right here. There's a little tab right there. We're gonna lift up these little magnetic clasps, and I'm going to set my, hmm, I think it probably does need to go all the way over, so I don't have enough. I'll save this for another one. I need to cut another piece so that it's longer. Okay, much better. All right, now we are going, oh, did I mess up? No, I didn't mess up. Okay, we place that down. Now we put our magnetic tabs down that holds it in place. Then, I remember these steps. Now we're gonna place our shirt on and it's nice because that is held in place. So let's put this on right here. All right, now we'll take the top of our hoop and lay it down. It just is magnetic, it sticks right to it. So now we can remove our shirt from here and it's all in place. Let's see how it looks on the inside. Nice and taut on the back. Woohoo! Okay. Although, wait a second, this came out. This shouldn't have come out. What the heck? That should have stayed right there. I'll have to look closer into that. <laughs> Not sure why that came off, but here we go. We're ready to put this on our machine. Oopsie. So now this needs to thread onto there and this spot, but that is much too narrow. These, this hoop is too wide for this. So I'm gonna need to adjust this just a little bit so that the brackets are wide enough. So I'm gonna get my Phillips screwdriver here. 
and my wrench. These tools come with the machine. So I'm gonna get my wrench. Let me bring it in closer so you can see. Okay, I'm gonna take the wrench and loosen this screw right here. We'll loosen that and take that out. Then we're gonna take the Phillips screwdriver. We're just gonna loosen it just a tad because we don't want it to come all the way off and we're gonna scoot it over. Let's see if that actually fits before I tighten it all back up. Okay, that's gonna be perfect. So let's tighten this screw and then we'll put this back in. And we'll tighten it. All right. Now we take our neck, make sure that it goes under there. I've done this before and it didn't go under and I sewed the front to the back. We don't want that. So we're going to push it right under those two tabs here, right there on each side. Push it in until it locks into place. Make sure that I am not in the wrong place there. So now we hooped our material and we're, we inserted the hoop into our machine. Now we're gonna choose our location the location is good. We can change it with the arrows, but I think that this location looks pretty good. Now we're going to lock the machine. Now we're gonna press the lock button. Do we want to enter embroidery status? Okay, so now it's waiting. Next up, we need to trace to make sure that our needle is not going to hit any of the edges of our design. So now let's push this button. We'll trace, pull down that bottom needle. We're tracing it to make sure, oh, it is actually touching right there. So that's not good, not good. So I need to move it up a little bit. Let's try again. Okay, we're good now. Oh my gosh, I always get a little bit nervous when this part comes. I just am like, oh, I hope it's gonna work. I hope it's gonna work. I only have one shirt, so we're gonna see. Let's go ahead whew, and press start. Start. machine stopped and gave me an alert that I had a thread break but I checked my bobbin first and I actually ran out so I didn't have a thread break I just needed to switch out my bobbin. It's finished. We are going to go ahead and take it off. 
of my flat lay. Look at this! Oh my gosh! So I had a little mess up right here. I ran out of bobbin and I didn't go back enough stitches to fix that part, but you know what? It's gonna work. This is cute. So these are her volleyball colors. I'm loving this. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited that I can make these kinds of things. So if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to give it that thumbs up. And I don't, I don't even know, I've lost my train of thought. I'm so excited. What do I want you to do? I want you to like it and subscribe and turn the notifications. Yeah, that's it. I just love it. So I'll be back. I'm be back next week. I'm like lost for words. I'm just so excited. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. I'm here every week sharing some type of crafty content. I'll be back. Until then, stay crafty, my friends. Bye. <laughs>